Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. In this section, you will learn how to use Colab, an amazing tool provided by Google to use their fantastic libraries, deep learning libraries, and more broadly speaking, to code on Python online. The first thing that you have to do then is to type Colab here and click on Google Colab. So what's happening now is that uh, you're redirected on the Colab main interface. It's an online interface, it's a web interface. And what I suggest you do is you sign in. Um, obviously you need a Google account. I've got mine, uh, but it's just one click away to create one if you don't have it, then the password is wrong. Let me type the right password. There we go. Now let's start from the beginning. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is to create a new IPython notebook. So it could be, for instance, a, a Python 3 notebook. And I'm going to magnify this view so that you can, you can see what's going on here. I'm trying the new editor and here I've got a cell. By the way, I forgot to mention that if you already know how to use Colab or how to use um, an IPython Jupyter Notebook, just feel free to skip this section, go to the next one. Uh, the first thing that I would like to tell you is that the um, main, one of the main functions, features of um, uh, Colab uh, is the ability to create cells. Uh, so here we have two types of cells code cells and text cells. Yeah, this is very, very powerful. It's very powerful because if I want to write, um, for instance, what I'm doing, uh, in this case is an introduction to Colab. Uh, I can do that. I can, this is markdown, so I can essentially um, create titles. I can move. Uh, this cells somehow, let me see how, um, yeah, somehow you can move, move them. I don't remember how to do it, but it's fairly intuitive and easy. The interesting thing here is that um, once you have uh, the uh, ability to write stuff, you can even comment your code even before you are doing it. Uh, you know, so for instance, here I can say, okay, I want to uh, showcase what code snippets are. I also want to look at autocomplete. Um, the difference between uh, um, text and code cells already done. And then um, I want to demo the share feature and the exporting. Now, here it's text. I can add links, I can add images, whatever I want. It's full markdown. So this is um, really, really handy. What I want to do now is to execute this cell. To execute this cell, I just click Shift uh, Enter. And uh, this time I'm going to create a code cell. So a code cell is a cell that essentially um, is used to contain Python code. And I could use, for instance, print statement, print hello world. Uh, I click here, I execute it. And the result should just be the string hello world printed um, down below. Now, as I mentioned before, um, there is an awful lot more of this. Um, and in particular, if you're clicking here on code snippets, uh, you have a lot of very cool stuff. For instance, I like data visualization. So if we go here, we have, for instance, this kind of stuff, which is fascinating. Um, so essentially this tab here enables you to copy and paste quickly uh, code snippets that you can use 
to then experiment and um, uh, look at your data, for instance, like in this case. So everything is pre-made for you by Google. How cool is that? So what you do here is you explore the data, then you can uh, um, alter this code, you can modify it, you can comment, uh, you can leave comments here, like for instance, uh, uh, fix, fix this um, bad code. And you comment. Um, then another interesting uh, tool that I want to show you is this. So when you are creating code, like for instance, um, let's say that we take data. Um, there is this very, very helpful function uh, that it allows you to autocomplete code. <coughs> Sorry about that. And uh, here you can even see the documentation about a specific function. So this is pretty, pretty cool. Another cool thing is the ability to share on this notebook with other people. So for instance, I can share it with myself on another account. and so on. So I think you got the point. <clears throat> you can also export this into a traditional IPython notebook. And by clicking here, download IPython notebook, you're able to uh, get the file on your laptop so that if you want to run it locally, you can do it. So uh, there is again, much more than what I showed you here, but um, I leave it up to you to discover. Uh, this amazing tool that we're going to use at least uh, in uh, uh, this uh, first part which is called foundations of uh, deep learning thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel if you like the video do give us a thumbs up and share it also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below